Kershaw TMZ. And it says here news regarding Kanye West and his Yeezy supply retail store may be coming soon. So it says as follows. Um, Kanye West left his mark on a ton of industry shoes, clothing and even stem players. And now he is laying groundwork for what could be a retail store for his wares. Ye and his legal team recently filed trademarks for Yeezy supply for retail stores, online ordering services and online retail services. Fans might be already familiar with Yeezy supply, a website Kanye has used to sell limited edition shoes or clothing in the past. But a new trademark suggests he's going bigger, possibly open brick and mortar stores. Kanye's latest filing obtained by TMZ includes just about every clothing clothing item you can wear from g-strings socks hats visors and tennis wear and leaves plenty of creative room for accessories headwear and head and uh and footwear um, of course he's already doing uh, uh, so the news is basically that maybe there is a possibility that Kanye is going to be opening a user supply store and i'm not really surprised because there was always that conversation around him doing it with gap um I think there was a image went around when he was announced as a, um, what was it? I don't know if he's, is it a creative director or he's got a gap or got whatever it may be, the partnership he's got with Gap. There was this picture that went around that was a viral picture of a local uh, officer of a Gap store in Chicago that was draped in this amazing sort of like um, cover thing that had Kanye sort of like writing on it. And I think it was some sort of note about, you know, how inspiring it was that he was able to get this Gap deal after working at a Gap when he was younger and always wanted to kind of work with them in that sort of capacity and kind of dress people and whatnot and set the mood in terms of style and blah 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 and it always felt like that would be a natural way to kind of dip his toes in the retail market by you know linking up with a legit retailer using their resources and kind of using the opportunity to sort of like um display and show what his vision of retail would be like because i'm sure knowing kanye and having knowing how anal and picky and how attention to detail oriented he is and just how obsessed he is about kind of presenting and showcasing these things in UK unique ways the store wouldn't just be some classic you know shortage store with kind of you know a brown bench and shit and bare walls it would definitely be an experience definitely be something that would kind of be a bit of a sensory overload something that would kind of challenge your perceptions of what a retail store would look like and would just kind of be like something you'd expect from the you know from the kind of team behind easy and donda and whatever they do out there so I think going forward, I think I mentioned already on Twitter as well, I think some people made some mock-ups of stores that basically had the same funny uses for Yeezy Supply. It's on a retail store and they're basically putting it outside of a shop. I don't necessarily see there being a retail store connected with Kanye that would have some overt signage on it. I don't think that was going to happen. I think he would probably go for something a little bit more nondescript, something that would kind of harken back to the good old days of like, you know, um, Aura what you call it Urahara Tokyo and Japan all those kind of back in the day times where streetwear stores or fashion stores had no signages and they were down weird alleys and if you knew you knew and when you went into the building it kind of transformed into this sort of like weird labyrinth of amazing things a modern version of it maybe kind of be a Dover Street where usually the inside of Dover Street looks way more crazy than the outside so I think those sort of things will kind of appeal to him more having a place that looks kind of you know, nondescript and kind of utilitarian and then stepping into it and you get transported into a whole different world. So don't expect there to be like a really bait Yeezy store with his face in the front of a stuff. I don't think that's going to happen, but I definitely can envision envision a retail store for sure because the stuff Kanye does and the stuff he makes, I think it is a bit of shame that people don't get to touch it in real life because I think once you do touch a lot of the stuff that he makes, especially the Yeezy kind of runway collection stuff, it kind of makes you appreciate a lot of the work and attention to that goes into it, especially when it comes to the, even the hoodie needed with Gap I felt someone's hoodie in real life that, that he actually made and the quality of it is absolutely outstanding really really outstanding the shape of it the finish of it like it's really really well done but you don't get to see a lot of it because you just get to see pictures of a JPEG or of somebody's crappy picture they took of, of the hoodie on their bed and stuff you don't really actually get to see what the quality of it looks like the fit the materials the construction the finish you don't really get to see that so being able to touch and feel that in a retail store would definitely go a long way in terms of being able to spread the gospel of Yeezy and what Kanye is doing in terms of store so I'm really really looking forward to it I really really am um, and I can't wait to see what he does and I think there was actually a post here that he uploaded recently just now regarding some guy I guess he had dinner with a gap was it some guy called Bob L Martin and this is as follows 
um, on my mum's birthday, I was able to, for the first time, to sit in a, in a Gap call with Bob Martin, Bob Fisher, and other leaders of the company. Okay, this is Gap people, right? And Bob Martin was one of the most inspiring people I heard speak in business. He kept saying to go to stores on the call. I came to Gap to put good product directly in stores. We've had two of the biggest sales days in Gap history since I've been here. We've sold fourteen million dollars worth of pro of of worth of perfect black hoodies at eighty dollars a hoodie off of a television commercial that was ran one time wow i came to gap to bring good quality products for people at times bob and i need to meet with you soon as possible so clearly i guess off the back of the news of him doing user supply store stuff and maybe this is kind of a bit of a clever play to also put um adidas in a position where they kind of have to buck to him in terms of um him maybe asking for more autonomy in terms of getting his own stores put up because i'm sure that's probably a conversation they've been having for a long time and it feels like he's been slowly but surely trying to pull away from adidas and sort of do his own thing does that make sense to you maybe um but maybe this is a good way to sort of like get them to agree to your demands by kind of flirting with Gap and making it known that you kind of want to do your own thing through them and whatnot. Because if you wanted to, if you wanted to do, I'm not sure what the deal is with footwear, but if you wanted to do a separate sort of footwear deal under the Yeezy umbrella with Gap, that would probably be something he could maybe work out and get around in it. Maybe, I'm not too sure, but overall, I'm really curious to see where this kind of leads and where this kind of goes to because it's going to be a very interesting um, few years or whatever when it comes to Kanye and what he does with the, with the easy stuff going forward because I do think this is the next and best evolution with his stuff that he get, gets out there. And for me personally, it will be awesome to have like a place that you can go to directly to pick up some Kanye-specific sort of like wares if you wanted to have a hoodie or a T-shirt or a pair of combat pants and stuff because nowadays it's quite hard to get hold of that stuff in normal retail stores. So having those sort of like stores in major cities around the world and gap being essentially a worldwide company would be fucking sick it really really would be sick so i'm really looking forward to it. i hope that does happen and hope he does get to meet bob 